1834, when the newspapers revealed what the French archaeologist Charles Texier had brought back from his trip across Asia Minor, the European intellectual elite was amazed. Local peasants had shown Texier a sanctuary with over 90 figures carved into the rock. It was more than 3,000 years old. The artistry was unique. Nothing like it had been seen before in Egypt or Mesopotamia. Some of the figures also contained mysterious hieroglyphics. It was not until almost a hundred years later that excavations close by brought the former Hittite capital to light. The sanctuary was evidently one of the Hittites' most important religious sites. In the 20th century, the hieroglyphic script was deciphered. It became clear that all the figures carved in the rock represent deities. The sanctuary depicts a procession of the highest Hittite gods. A strict order dominates the sequences. The supreme deities are at the center, which is due north. All the other gods march to this center. Practically all the figures coming from the left are men. Practically all those coming from the right are women. One of the recent excavators concluded that the shrine would continue to keep its secret. Little more could be said with certainty. But now, over 3,200 years after its construction, it has revealed its secret. An international team of researchers has presented a model that puts all of the 90-plus figures in a coherent context. The sanctuary symbolizes the cosmos. It shows the order that arose when the chaos was overcome during creation. The Hittite cosmos consists of solid levels, including the earth on which people live, the sky above them, and the netherworld below. Further characteristics of the cosmos are its cycles of renewal, of temporary death, followed by rebirth. Every evening, the sun sets to be reborn the next morning. The moon disappears, only to reappear and wax again. The vegetation dies in winter and is reborn in spring. These cycles of renewal are symbolically expressed in the stone reliefs. So precisely that even now they could still be used as a calendar. To explain the symbolic meaning of the highest gods, the researchers have proposed a completely novel idea. Since these supreme deities are in the far north, they appear to be related to the circumpolar region of the sky. The stars in this region never disappear below the horizon. They ceaselessly rain from above. So we see that Hittite religion had things in common with the belief systems in ancient Egypt and Babylon, but also retained a very independent character of its own. Now that the main structure of Hittite cosmology is clearer, it will be possible to better understand its details. Perhaps more secrets are waiting to be revealed.